Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Trisha Creative Mouse Creations and today is another uh, uh, addition to my Forgotten Tools uh, series and today I'm going to be showing you my e-brush. Okay, now I got this probably about three or four years ago, probably about three years ago from HSN. This is another one of those things that I ordered, took it out the box. Ooh, ah, uh, didn't even take it out. I think I, think I probably took out the the, e, the the base of it itself. Took it out, looked at it. I don't think they took the plastic, the wrapper off of it and put it back in the box. Never used it. So today, I'm going to be using it. Now, just like the, uh, the dye that I used last week, I um, watched some videos on how to use it first and hopefully I remember and I'm going to be going from there so first I'm going to go ahead and open it up uh, again it's not my first time opening it but again I didn't take anything out of the box let me see Ooh, here's the thing I'll tell you exactly where I got it I got it last no I got it in yeah about three years ago I got it in uh, 2014 so yeah I got it three years ago let me just in um, and here's a warning. Your Ebro system is designed for hours of enjoyment. It is important to turn off the compressor when not in use. Do not leave the air compressor on or idling for more than 15 minutes when not in use. Okay, good to know. Save the day, the little gecko. Gecko. And the instructions. I guess that looks pretty simple. Okay. The machine itself. See, I didn't even open it up. See, so still got tape on. I didn't even open it. I didn't take it out of the package. Let's well, let's go ahead and take everything out. So that's the machine. So and then this is the hose. And this is one of the attachments. And more attachments. You can use different markers with it, and right now, uh, you can Sharpies, uh, Copic Sketch, which is, I only have four of those. I, I got a lot of Copics, but my other is Copic Child, so I only have four Copic Sketches, so I got some of those already. These are the connections. I'll take those out. The adapter. This box. And the e brush itself, the little wand part. And. Some uh, spiritual nor noir uh, markers that come with it. You get these, and also, got, of course, got a connection with those. So, I'm going to try those two. So, I already have out, I got brought out all of my cope, um, all of my um, Sharpies. Got tons of Sharpies. And I only have like four of the Copic uh, sketch markers. Um, hopefully, they come out with another connection if they haven't already. I got to look into it and see if they have a attachment for the Copic Charles, because uh, these are more ones that I have, so hopefully they got a connection with these. Um, or I might see if I can, one of the connections I have will, will fit that. But anyway, so that, so let's go ahead and get this opened up. Let's go ahead and open it up. Like I said, I watched videos on it before attempting to use this thing. It's been three years and hopefully, what is this, hopefully it works and uh, I have I don't know where to send it back if it doesn't. Okay, so they said there's a um, a, you can buy a charitable battery to put in here if you want to go um, take it with you, want to go without the cord. Um, I don't think I'll be doing that, so that's that. Um, the hose, I think it said it's like a three foot hose. That's the hose. Connect from one end, connect to here, one end, and then this is connected to the actual wand part, the airbrush part. Connect it under there. Let's go ahead and open up these adapters. My body got this one in a separate package. Okay. Says on here, say it says on here which one to go to SN 
Spectrum Noir. So that goes to this, and that's what I had to say. So that's going to go to that, to that. And then they have one that said PC for, um, I forgot what they said that was for. Uh, Prisma Color, P PC. Uh, AD is another marker. I can't remember what they said. They like said they got them on this, this Sharpie this off fine point. And this is Copic Sketch. Yeah, I'm talking about the shape of it. And this one is another marker. I, um, I got, like I said, they have it's the, the stuff in the, the sketch. I mean, in the instructions, we'll see. Marker adapters. Okay, yeah. Okay, one for Spectrum Noir, Copic. Another for the Copic Sketch. Uh, Prismacolor, Sharpie, Fine Points, uh, Tombow, and Chart Pack. So these are that's for all of those. Now I only have three of the markers. I only have four of the Copic Sketch, um, three of the Spectrum Noir that they sent with the thing. I hope they still work in dry over three years. I had them and all of my Sharpies. So now let's go ahead and get this plugged up. And unfortunately, I forgot to pull my cord up. Wait a minute, I probably reach over and get it. So let's get this plugged up. It's going to be a tight fit. I'm going to get it on there. Okay. Put so that in. And then I'm going to put um, this on. Tiny little hole. Okay. And it's on there. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, now I said this is the power button. Got all the four lights to come on. This is high, medium, low. And this is how to turn it on. And hit high, low, medium, high. And then you hit this, pull this back. Yes, I feel air. Air. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and put on an adapter. Let's go ahead and open the Spectrum Noirs. Hmm, I might have to some more of these. I don't like them. Not without Barney Murdoch. I just got Copics and Sharpies. Let's see. Like I said, guys, I got this and I never opened it. use and out of the box and everything and I'm gonna let you know if I look oh I don't think I'm gonna like it I get the work 
I know some of the videos said it's a little fiddly, you gotta work with it, but then there was a couple that actually knew what they were doing, they didn't have any problem with adjusting or anything. Um, so yeah, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna set to uh, you have to put this in, it's like some little notches right here on both sides of the wand, and it's like some notches right there. You put it on sideways like that, put it on there, push it, click it, and turn it. Gotta twist it up right like that, like so. Okay, so let's go. I says I already picked it up. No, nope. that's not use the that part. Gotta use the chisel in. Okay, so I said to stick it in there. So this. Okay. Yeah. So you have to push it so that the nib or tip is right at where the air blows. So I got some paper right here. So let's go ahead and see. I'm going to start with medium. I'm going to push it in some more. Well, this might be dried out. Ink in it. That noise is irritating. I don't know if it's uh, that noise is uh ir is, or, uh, is too loud for you guys, but it's definitely annoying to me. Let's see. See? It works. They can dry out. And it said if the tip is not get like that you put it in you can get um let me see I got some tweezers somewhere or something oh, got tweezers in here somewhere I said some of these you can twist them around. I don't want to get it on my fingers. Let's try it. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we push it in some more. Let's go ahead and try the Sharpies. Well, let's get some of that. Okay, let's take this off. Got to twist it. Okay. I can't get it off. Copic. Let's try the Copic. Hmm. 
Mm, that was much better. I got it on really for that. Okay. Let's I then gonna try this one. Give it to use the chisel tip. Stick that in there. Tesla's right now. Okay. Okay. So the Copic tick works. Alright, now let's try um the Sharpie. Sharpie points, I think this is it. I'm gonna turn it up and let's try red. Let me make sure. So every once in a while I have to go through my sharpie markings and make sure that they work. Because a lot of them have to go through and throw away. Put on the light. Oh, well that one worked. different color. Let's try ah. I've had these forever and some of them just don't work. We'll try it. I think it's it's look like it's dried up. We'll try it anyway. Mm -hmm. it and it says that this use just as much or less ink as if you were coloring with it. color and then we'll actually I'll try actually doing something with the colors uh, let's try black now I did say this thing will move if you got a slick surface so and that's what it's doing I think this is what they meant. With, this is what they meant when they said it's a little fiddly. You gotta get adjusted and all that. Alrighty. Okay. Well, now that we've done that, we've tested it. Said it does work. Love how good y'all can see that. Slight. It's still neat. Okay. So. What I'm going to try first is I've got, I brought up a few things and I'm going to also be using some things that also first time use. So this is going to be like a two in one. These are stencils. So I have a Spellbinders emboss and deboss uh, plate or whatever this is. I got it at Tuesday mornings. And I got a Heidi Swap stencil by Honeycombs. And I got a, another stencil by Momenta. I think this is, yeah, my Momenta. I got these uh, also from uh, Tuesday mornings. Got all this from Tuesday mornings, I believe. Yeah, so we first time using these two. Uh, so we're gonna be hitting four birds with one stone. Okay, let's do this one first. So, um, and because this is a permanent marker that you're using, um, they say that you can't get them off. But the thing about it is, if you got alcohol, um, whatever, you could probably use that to wipe it off if you really don't care about it. And if you mean, if you got paper stencils, then of course that's not coming off. Uh, let's see. So, let's 
try. I'm going to test these models first before I use them. This color. And we're going to see if we can. Inching this way across the table. I want it powered on. Let's see if I can get a piece of foam and set it on so that it won't do that. I don't know if this will work, but we'll try it. Let's see if I can sit on this piece of foam and see if it won't do all that sliding. Okay. Yeah, it's still moving. See that? It's still moving around the table. Oh well. about this is you don't have to worry about clean up don't have to stay here right or something because this is spraying all of the wrong it but I don't like it because it's too fiddly but I'll get the hang of it I'm really not a patient person but I can't be patient about some things I'll get the hang of it I think when it comes to my craft tools I'm patient people I'm not so patient with before I put them in here to see make sure that they work. I already went through my markers a while back. And you know, for once it's dried out. pushing it too hard. Now it's coming out there. I was pushing all the way down and it's coming out. So now that I press it lightly, it's working. See? I get the hang of it. I was pressing on it too hard on the little knob, the little button there. I was pushing it all the way down. So that's why I want nothing coming out. I don't want nothing blowing. I'm learning, guys. Okay. Let's try a different color. Yeah. 
bit. Don't like it, gotta be fairly with it. Guess I gotta get the hang of it. so well. That eh, it's not working. Let's try another shade of yellow. Let's see if this one works. That eh, works. demo when it's taking too long. I get the hang of it. So I am liking it, but I don't like it because you got to be fiddly with it. Let's see one more color. Off, Cause I don't know if that's getting in or not. Cause it's definitely uh, irritating me just a little bit. Look at that. What do you think? Neat. Yeah. I'll clean that off later. All right. Let's try another stencil. Again, these are also first time I've used these. So, we are hitting, um, let's try, let's see, I'm sure I don't use, use this one, yeah, that works good. This looks like me too. Do that. And I'll clean those off later. Like I said, take some alcohol tool. This one's a little berry. Try to get all these stencils on one piece of paper. Okay, let's. Go. 
Okay, sorry about that. My camera died, but um, I got finished doing that one with my Copic sketch markers. And now that's really pretty. Would have been pretty if I had, you know, appropriate colors for the leaves and stuff, but it's neat. Okay, let's try it. Another stencil. Let's turn this sideways like so. That's how I'll come back and. Let's go back and just try the uh, the Spectra Noir markers. See if we can get that to work. You know what? I'm going to see if these are not, it's not dried out. Hmm. Yeah, they're not dried out, so I just got to, I just got to fiddle with it to get it to work for me. Okay. Uh, but this is the one with the tip is not pointed in the right direction. Alright, give me a minute guys. Okay. Um I had to get that uh the little tip twisted around to point like it's supposed to. So let's try this again. Hi. Sorry, I have to turn it off because it's that noise is annoying. Let's go back to the Sharpie so I can actually get some different colors in this. I think I'm all the con, uh, tips I don't have markers for. I'm going to go ahead and put them to the side because I'm not going to be able to use them. So I want to keep going through all of them. Looking at that one, I don't need. I don't have. Okay. Let's. Wait a minute. And twist it up. Okay. All right. I think the more I'm using it, the more I'm getting the hang of it. So, it's not so bad. I'm really starting to like this thing. It's starting to like it a lot. Oh, little roses. Let's see what this looks like. Neato! I like that, guys. Okay, one more stencil. Like I said, these are again stencils that I haven't used before. So, I guess we're going to go ahead and stick with my Sharpie connection or Sharpie adapter.
Yeah, it's still some move, but it's still neat. It's still neat. I like it. Okay, now I'm gonna actually do a project with these. Um, so I got out my Prima flowers, and I'm going to color a few. Now I, when I, that was one of the things that sold me on the uh, on buying this because um, after I had a. Uh, actually ordered it from HSN then I wouldn't watch some video I remember watching videos then and I remember people was they had errors and it was showing what they had um had they actually um cut some flowers and they it was mostly with the ones that were flowers that they had made um which I got some dots but I haven't used <sighs> another um tool that I forgotten I think I'll use one of my flower dies when you make your own little flowers and they made their own flowers and then they colored them uh so that's what we're gonna do with this one you know what i got some other flowers i want to try something on so I'm not gonna just use white but we're going to try some colored some some that are already colored and do some shading let's see Let's pull out that one. Maybe get some more color on that one. Let's do some light ones. And let's try this way down here. Let's try something on that. Now I'll probably take some of these off of the table. Left so they come back to those. And we'll probably do two at a time. Small and big, so we have enough room okay all right so let's do let's put this gold color of sharpie in and we're gonna test okay Look, I'm far away, I get like speckles. I like that. Alrighty, now let's make us a flower. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this thing now. Where's my glue? I'm gonna put a little dab in the middle. Like that. gems here. Let's see. I'm going to pull out a color that I like. Uh, let's try this one. Uh, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Scrum and glue than that. Hmm. I don't know what happened to my lid, guys. I was in the house using this when I was uh, putting 
putting the sign on the dollhouse and I lost my lid to that but it still works these and all out the sides like that flower guys hmm. yeah I might use it for something okay let's try another one okay let's do let's do a, let's try some purples Saying, I don't know. These might be. They don't have numbers or colors on these sharpie pens. I think that's the only thing I don't like about them. Because um, sometimes the cup, the um, why ain't that fitting? The uh, the the the, the lid is not exactly the color true to the actual. of the tip or the pen the lid y'all know what i'm saying oh, let's try this one I like it coloring flowers. You know what? I think I like some darker in the middle. Hmm. Or better yet, let's throw some pink in there or something. I think I'm gonna like this as far as it's coloring flowers. Okay. Now let's try this one with a dark marker brown. Get it really. 
really misty. I'm gonna have to hold this. I'm just gonna do the edges. See they already faded a little bit already. A little darkest end, but I'm gonna put some, just a little more dark on the edge. using it so how do you like those guys let's see let's see now these are gonna work because they're about all the same size but how do you like those oh, I gotta get them in frame uh, come on Trish get them right there you go aren't those pretty alrighty so that is my e-brush that I got three years ago I think I'm gonna like this machine guys I have to start using it more. I'm going to sit it out. I'm not going to put it back in the box on a shelf somewhere I can't see it. Um, you know how they say, out of sight, out of mind. So, um, I, I like this machine. I really like it. Um, like they said in the video, some of the videos are just going to get a little fiddly. So, I had to fiddle with it a little bit. But I got the hang of it. So, I am going to be liking this. I'm not, oh, that's another thing. I also seen somebody that's actually painting on glass. I don't know how well it's going to work as far as sticking, you know, it's permanent marker. But, like, if you take alcohol to it or something, it's going to come off. Um, so it's probably best if you're going to use it on glass, it's going to be, have to be something that you don't plan on, you know, actually handling a lot, like using it like our, um, like an actual drinking glass or something, because I, I believe that's not going to stick very long. But yeah, I'm liking, I, I like this e-brush thingy. Um, I had to go and get me some more Copic, uh, Spectral, Copic Sketch, uh, markers, and I'm going to look into see how much, um, these, uh, Spectral Noir markers are. I know they're pretty pricey too. Um, and I'm going to have to reinvest in some more Sharpies. Because I think either I wasn't using some of them right. Excuse me. I'm trying to get the hiccups. Or um, I wasn't using it right. Or they just drying out on me. Because I've had those Sharpies for a minute. But anyway, yeah. Um, I am liking this machine. So there you go, guys. E-brush. No longer a forgotten tool. Um, again, I ordered this three years ago on HSN, but it's from Craftwell. So you can go to craftwellusa.com and see if they still have these available. And go get you one. Pretty cool tool. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.